Uh, Fox News Alert and U.S. officials, intelligence officials, are reportedly finding that North Korea already has produced a miniaturized nuclear warhead, one, <clears throat> pardon me, small enough and light enough <clears throat> to fit inside missiles. Let me pick that up for you. This report coming from the Washington Post. Ari Fleischer is a former press secretary for President George W. Bush. He is a Fox News contributor as well. Ari, thank you for reacting to this breaking news now as we have it. What do you think? Well, frankly, I think there's only three options. One is you, uh, you acquiesce and you hope that your missile defense system works and you accept our North Korea as a nuclear power. Two is you use the military to take them out, knowing all the grave risks that brings to the United States and to our ally in South Korea and potentially Japan. Uh, and, and the third, and this is my preferred outcome, is you do everything possibly economically and through espionage to help the regime collapse from within. And if it collapses from within, then you have to hope that there will be people who pick up leadership from there who don't want nuclear weapons and will abandon them, as has been the case with Libya, uh, South Africa, although it was a different cause in South Africa. There is a precedent for that. It, that does seem like such a dicey option, though, Ari, given, I mean, if you look at just the chaos that we've seen ensue seen in, in Syria, you look at Iraq, you look at Afghanistan, I mean, all these places that have fallen into chaos and seem to have gotten worse, sort of like you're delaying the problem. I don't know. There's a lot of risk there. Well, you know, after the Soviet Union fell, Kazakhstan and Ukraine had nuclear weapons, and the new leadership in those now independent republics decided they didn't want nuclear weapons, and so they entered into a peaceful arrangement with the world and no longer have them. So I don't give up hope that that third scenario is the best scenario, but if it's not, Melissa, then frankly, it's either a military incursion the United States would have to lead, which would be one huge military operation, or secondly, you acquiesce. You accept the fact that North Korea is a nuclear power that has the ability, like Soviet Union did and like Russia now does and China does to hit cities throughout the United States. Are we as Americans prepared to accept that from North Korea? That's mm -hmm. a big question. You know, and one of the really difficult things about the, the path that you suggested is that tipping point. You know, when you decide that you've pressed for long enough, you've tried for hard, en hard enough, and they've gotten out of control and it's time to move in and do something, because some would say it's this point now where it seems like they've picked up the final piece of the puzzle to really, you know, inflict pain and war and, te and death on American soil. Well well, it's also a recognition that all the norms that we thought would uh, fight proliferation don't really work. When you look at what the United Nations job is to fight proliferation, when you look at groups in Vienna to fight proliferation, and certainly bipartisan approaches from the last three administrations to fight proliferation in North Korea, none of it's worked. The, the truth is time and technology are not on the side of the United States. Terrorists and other rogue nations are able to acquire technology that previously they couldn't over time. And that's where I look at missile defense and things that Israel has and other nations have, the United States has with that, that we must develop to protect ourselves against the worst case scenario.